All right, boys, we're out here. We got a little tip we're gonna give today. This is for all rails. This isn't for a specific trick. It's not 50-50s, it's not board sides. It's just tips for getting through any rail. And Malik versus Luke on that last one it was a perfect what not to do that you've been talking about. And what to do. There it was. Get on the rail. Yeah. <laughs> so I did not get on the rail. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? First tip. When you're coming at the rail, point your board where you want to go. Your trajectory sends you to the end of the rail. When you go to ollie on to the rail, no matter what trick you're doing, you always want to get your weight centered over the rail. So that way you have the most balance and stability while you're riding the rail. And even if you do start to come off early, if you're on top and balanced, what happens? You just pop off. Simple. What happens no sweat. if you don't and you half commit and your weight of your body is not on top of the rail and your weight of your legs is? You're getting ruined. <laughs> <laughs> ruined. Woo. I love more of these coming every run. Tip number two. I'm claiming the reason you can't get through the end of the rail is because you're not looking at it and you're looking at the part of the rail that you're gonna ollie onto, which leads back to what Tom said earlier about having your board being perpendicular, parallel with the angle of the rail. And when you lean your body, the upper weight over the rail and ollie, when you look at the end of the rail, you bring your lower body weight to center it on top of the rail. And when you lock in, you're gonna go where you were looking. You keep coming off the rail early, it's because you're looking at where you're ollieing and your trajectory is at a side angle and you basically just grind right across the side of the rail. You side grinded it. No side grinding, just at the last second, right before you're about to ollie onto the rail. Keep the end of it, and if you get through it, send Malik like 10 bucks, <laughs> right? Five, I'll give him a discount. He's giving him a discount out here. All right, you're up, Luke. Let's hear it, numero tres. I guess we'll talk about where you come into the rail. Some lips have like a gap, some don't, so oh. like, if you wanna stay on your toes or your heels, it's up to you, or straight on. This my tip is know that before you go in. Yeah, figure out if it's an overhang feature. Yeah, exactly. If you want a front board, you know, you might want to be on your toes and body over the rail already, ready to go. Know before you go. It's a good one. Luke just oh, saved you guys it. before you even died, before you even hit the rail. <laughs> because that's the biggest thing, as you can see. Know some rails, like this box right here, you can basically just ride straight onto. No worries, no overbite. You try to do that same thing right here, What's gonna happen, Tommy? You're gonna get ruined. <laughs> so just be aware of the feature. That's a tip within itself. Figure out what type of rail you're about to ollie onto or box, and if you need to do an urban style ollie or just a ride on. Save a lap. Don't all right. You have no, all right, here we go. Number four, the biggest thing. Any rail you're on, you wanna stay low. If you're stiff and you're straight up and down, if anything happens, you're gonna get bucked off the side of the rail or you're gonna get bucked to the front of the rail or onto the rail. If you're staying athletic stance, which is all of your weight centered up and down, but staying low, basically bending at the knees and the hips, but with your back still straight, not just bending over yeah, don't at an lean, angle. Don't lean over the rail or your <laughs> hips, because then you're gonna send your balance all types of <laughs> So stay low. Leave that out. <laughs> and that'll keep you nice and centered and square over the rail as you just kind of cruise and wait until you get to the end of it. Or box, all of this applies to any feature. And um, yeah, we got one more that we're gonna wrap this thing up with next run. What is this, number five, their fifth and final tip. I'm shutting it down proper. While you're board sliding and you've figured out which way to approach the rail, you've decided to look at the end of it right before you're popping on. When you pop on, you stay over the rail. And once you're on the rail, you're nice and low. Center of gravity, nice and low and balanced. Better balance. You want your board to be flat with whatever angle that the rail or the box is. So if it's a down rail, you want your surfboard, listen to me, grind, ready to grind on the surfboard. You want your snowboard to be the same angle, flat. You could literally spin, you could pivot, you could butter, you could do whatever you want, as long as your board is flat on flat. So if that's down, then it's at a down angle. If that's flat, then it's at a flat angle. If it's up, then it's at an up angle. But if your board is flat on that feature and you are low and you looked at the end of it, you figured out whether to ollie onto it or not beforehand, and you committed to staying balanced on top of the rail, there is a serious risk of you stomping that. No 
potentially go first to the hardware team? store. No, you got bolts on you. <laughs> Bolt it up. So I hope this helped you guys. Five critical tips for getting through any feature on a snowboard, whether it's a box or a rail. Drop a thumbs up, drop a subscribe, and uh, we're gonna keep these things coming. Leave a comment, let us know what you wanna hear next. And uh, are we gonna leave Malik's, Malik's Venmo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.